Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. Or I'm my alter ego, Miss Vanity Scarlet. So we're diving into another reaction to The Untamed. We're diving into episode 15. And yeah, we're continuing our four episode reaction week because you guys eviscerated the 500 like challenge that I gave you guys last week. So we're going to dive into this episode and just see where it takes us. Yeah, aside from all of the sadness happening there at the end, this might be my favorite episode, like I was saying, because it was just so damn good. It was so damn good. Oh my goodness. Like, okay, we started with the one, the semblance of the minor clan that was still there coming and visiting because, hey, the Wens wiped us out and we're all that's left. Like, okay, here, yeah, we'll, we'll take care of you. That's fine. Um... Oh, we'll take you to where you need to go. So daddy and big sister made a trip to, you know, take care of whatever business. They'll be back in, you know, a little while, a couple days, whatever. Well, more than a couple days because they were gone for 10 days when the winds came and invaded. Um, but they're going to be gone and they'll come back. Um, so that just left Chang um, with Xian basically in charge. And of course, we got Mama there. And the one thing I loved about this episode, because for ever since Mama was introduced in the series, um, Yemi, who we love on this channel, um, has made numerous comments um, about how she loves the different kinds of female representation we're getting the show. We're getting different kinds of female characters. We've got some of these strong, badass characters. We've got some of these more gentle characters. We've got these really evil, snide characters. Like, we have all this different plethora of female representation. And I love it. I agree. But she, one thing she was saying is how much she loved mama and how mama was like one of her favorite characters i think and i just i did not get it i was sitting i would read the comments and be like i don't see it but you know maybe it's just maybe it's just like an understood something like i because uh, like i've said in the past like when it comes to the one whose name i can't remember the one girlfriend girl who led the invasion here i hate her like, I hate the character. I want her, I keep wanting her to die. Please, someone end her so I can end my suffering. Um, he, I just don't like her. But when it comes to, like, Mom and some of the other characters, it's not that I don't like them. I don't like some of their attitudes or some of their temperaments, but I enjoy the character. So that's very much Mama. Like, yes, I feel like every time I've seen her, she's just been such an antagonistic character and just spewing venom left and right. And I'm like, why are you so why i don't get it so when yemi was saying that she's one of her favorite characters i'm like i don't see it but maybe it's just something that's maybe you have to read the source material maybe it's just something you have to understand then this episode came around and it gave you a completely different perspective on mama because it, it made her more than just that one dimensional character spewing venom all the time she would yes yeah, she's still that but she's a mother who cares she's a wife who cares in her own way and she is a badass. Y'all know, I love me a strong, badass female. I love it. Always will. Always have, always will. So she was a badass. She was a boss ass, okay? They came strolling up in there and, like, yeah, she would say certain things to Chang, you know, like, it felt a little bit like letting the, the wind out of his sails when he's like, oh, they've captured the ball. And she's like, why are you... Why are you so agitated? Look at you, so nervous and agitated. How are you going to be the leader of the blah, blah, blah? And it's like, oh, don't say that to him. You got to support him. But then I'm like, I get kind of where she's coming from because I, I think she's just trying to teach him to have a little bit more of a level head. Because even in the majority of the time when she's on screen and she's out here spouting venom, most of the time she's saying it with a very calm demeanor. She's saying awful things, but she's saying the calm demeanor. There were a couple points there where, you know, she would raise her voice and get agitated and whatnot. But for the most part, she was kind of like cool, calm, collected and just spewing venom at you. So she's like, hey, you need to learn to manage your feelings in these situations. You can't let your emotions get the better of you. Um, and then in that whole interaction with um, homegirl who needed to die, but still hasn't yet. Um, while you can see Chang and Wu Jian 
a little bit um wanting to like intervene or say something like oh who do you think you are to step sit on the throne who are you and you know wanting to like say things mama's like ah, quiet i got this i got this baby i got this mm -hmm. Con converse blah blah blah, 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 blah. Okay, you want him to be punished? Fine. Purple lightning. Bam, 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 bam. And then she's like, oh, is that it? You know, a few lashings. They'll, he'll, he's young. He'll heal soon. He'll forget about um, the, the pain and whatnot. You need something that's a little bit more permanent. And they're like, well, why don't you just cut off his right hand? That should be fine. She's like, oh, you want me to cut off his right hand? Okay. Maids, close the doors. Don't, don't, I don't want nobody to see the blood. And then she's like, you know what? I like you. I think we're gonna get along in this supervisory office, blah 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 blah. And she keeps spouting blah 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 and I'm like, listen, she told him to close the doors because she didn't want the people out there to see the blood. I don't think it's Wushan's blood she's out here trying to spill. Yes, she's out here whipping him, but I think that is well, A, get out a little aggression that she has towards him. Um, but also to kind of it's her way to save him, in a sense. Because she very easily could have just handed him over like here you go blah, blah, blah. like if she really truly hated him with her core and her gut could have just handed him over to the winds of the here take him y'all do whatever you want with him but she's like no i will punish him and hopefully the punishment i give him will be enough so that y'all can go on your merry way so i'll take care of it don't you worry no 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 um but then mama's like you stupid little hoe you stupid hoe slap whip slap i'm like finally somebody is laying into this chick because again i'm not here i'm not out here condoning violence or nothing like that but she needs i need her to not be on my screen anymore so mama's out here handling business and giving her the business i'm like yes and then the core crusher want to come rolling through and it's like oh no man and then she's able to fire off the signal to you know get the armies out and whatnot then mama and her badass mates oh god love them um Badass maids distracted Core Crusher while Mama fled with the boys, got them on a boat, locked them up with a purple light, and it was like, bye, 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 take care of yourselves. And again, that was just another moment where we were, we were seeing her as more than just this antagonistic person spitting venom. Like, she was a mother who cares and is worried about her child. Yes, she still harbors all this resentment towards um, Wu Jian, which I don't know if it's necessarily directed at him and just more so at what he represents because of all the rumors circulating around him and you know but she she's still a mother who cares about her child and wants to see him safe and sound and it just just badass strong female i love him love 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 so now i already know what happens to mom and daddy because like i said however many episodes back when somebody told me about a special episode that I needed to, or check out a special episode because it had extra scenes in it with Wu Jian and um, Lan Jian being drunk or whatever. I was like, okay, I didn't realize that the special episodes were just like trunc a truncated version of the series. So when I dove into that special episode, I think it was like episode six or something, the information I saw there was for like episode 16 through like 18 or something along those lines. So I'm already aware of what happens to mom and daddy which makes all this conversation that they were having in this scene, or in that last couple scenes there, even more heartbreaking. Um, I don't remember a lot of the things I did see. That's just one of the things that's, one of the things that stuck in my mind about that special episode that I did see. I know what happens to them. I don't remember a lot of the other details of what happened throughout that special episode, but I do remember that, so sad face sad face but we saw the origins of where chang got his purple lightning another another little tidbit um that we saw earlier on in the series and yeah just such a good episode such great fight choreography everything about it love this episode absolutely loved it love the character development love the choreography love the music as always love the acting just fantastic so i thoroughly enjoyed this episode and i hope you guys did too if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can if you'd like to support the channel in other ways you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon you don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video love you Mwah.